You guys realize we're living on borrowed time, right? I mean, 20 years from now, we're gonna look back on this as the best years of our lives. This is gonna go down as the best time of our lives? Oh, yeah, trust me, it will. So we gotta keep on doing exactly what it is we're doing right now. At least until it becomes pathetic. And when's that gonna be? Uh, when we're 31 and have no girlfriends because we still live at home with our parents and work a part-time job at the convenience store? Oh, cripe. I hope I'm not still single at 31. What? Now, what would be wrong with being single at 31? Marriage will be my only chance of getting laid. Yeah, but marriages ruin guys' relationships. Besides, how could hanging out with a wife and a bunch of screaming kids be better than this? So I'm picking up a few things at the grocery store today, and I see Dale Dorman. Guy from high school with deformed hand? <laughs> yeah, and, and instead of using a cart, he's putting his food in a big box and pushing the box along the floor with his legs. And every so often, he'd try to pick up the box with his one good arm, but he couldn't do it. So he'd go back to scooching it along the ground with his legs. Why didn't he use a cart? I don't know. And the whole time I was watching him, I kept wondering if I was obligated to say hi and offer to help. Just because I went to high school with him doesn't mean I'm under some kind of moral obligation to him, does it? I don't think so. Did you see that interview with Glenn Burgetts on the evening news? Glenn Burgetts? You know, that screenwriter who's in town making some sort of appearance or other. Huh? You know, he wrote the Nigel Experience, um, Secret Thoughts of Waiters, Slumber Party oh, 2. Yes. <laughs> So they're doing an interview with him, and he says that whenever he's dating a woman who starts to bore him, he has to break up with her. How lame is that? All I have to do is see one of his movies, and you can tell he has no clue when it comes to women. <laughs> I have no clue when it comes to women. I mean, I'm a nice guy. I'm not hideous looking, and how often do I get a date? Mm, about once every lunar eclipse. <laughs> exactly. Women say they want a nice, sensitive, thoughtful, caring guy, but they don't. What do they want then? Women want a guy who'll treat him like crap so that they can fix him and pretend like they've contributed something to society. It's a sick perversion that women have. You want to know the only way I'll ever get a hot chick? Is if it's one who used to be fat and is still so self-conscious about her looks that she's willing to settle for a guy like me. Dude. What? Like, like, the, like the bubonic plague is running around on the floors here? Oh my gosh, you don't believe what I just saw. What? The guy at the table behind you, he just ate a french fry on the floor. No. What kind of a freak would eat food that's touched the floor? Ugh. So if I send her flowers and she likes me, then I'm a gentleman. But if she doesn't like me, I'm a stalker? Yeah, it's a fine line between hopeless romantic and freaked out psychopath. And that line is completely drawn by the woman. <laughs> I know I'm gonna end up with cancer. Do you think Ronald Reagan cared he had Alzheimer's? I think he was ecstatic he had it. He no longer knew what death was. You know my socks are all wearing out in the same place? Right over the nail of my right big toe. That's not good. And the thing is, none of them are wearing out over my left big toe. I keep the nails on both toes cut the same length. I've measured my toes and my feet, and they're the exact same length. So why is it that all my socks only wear out over my right big toe? You better have that checked out. You're telling me?
You ever notice how nobody ever eats any meat in Brigitte's movies? I had noticed that. Why does he do that? It's because he's a vegetarian. Really? Oh yeah, I saw it on TV. Some people were talking about it and everything. You know what I hate is how in all of Brigette's movies, someone uses the word cripe. <laughs> Who says cripe? <laughs> you know what I hate is that stupid unhand that raccoon, you big idiot <laughs> line he always throws in. <laughs> I bet it's because he's into bestiality. <laughs> a vegetarian who's into bestiality? Um, have you forgotten that scene in the Nigel experience with the guy, the sheep, and the dildo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wind up marrying some bossy husky woman because she's the only woman who's ever let me in her pants. And we'll immediately have a couple of kids and she'll go from husky to huge and I'll have to work two jobs to support the family and pay the bills on the house that I'm mortgaged to for life. And my kids will think I'm a loser because I only make 25 cents an hour more than minimum wage. It doesn't have to be that way. Right, like I'll somehow come up with the money for plastic surgery and bicep and pectoral implants so I won't have to end up with some wicked fat chick. It's okay, though. What else is there for me? I mean, you don't have to get married. What could be better than, than hanging out with us and uh, you know, banging some casual girlfriend on the side? All right, other than a prostitute, the only woman who would ever have sex with me is one who felt a biblical obligation to it. <laughs> Pain's worse than death, huh? Why not? Because there's a 99% chance the dog would die first. All that grieving. What if I died first? Can you imagine how confused the dog would be? His whole life will have been comfy chairs, playing in the yard, and bowls that are forever filled with food and water. And then all of a sudden, bam. His best buddy in the whole world, who's been providing him with this stuff, is gone. And the dog would have no idea what happened to him. It would freak him out. You know what the worst part of me dying first is? What's that? Within a month, the dog would have totally forgotten about it. Look, there are just certain things that we should not know about our lovers. Like what? Um, like how we look when we're using the restroom. What? So there's this girl that I, I, I'm in lust with, maybe even in love with, and, and the last image that I want when I'm making love to her is her parked on the toilet taking care of her bodily functions. I'm trying to eat lunch here. Our lovers should be, should be mythic figures. We, we should be a little bit in awe of them. I mean, if they're not above the mundane, then it ruins the act of sex. this morning. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Lots of lather when I shake my mood. Huh. It was nice. working on a movie that's a spoof of The Truman Show, where the person constantly being filmed is a 13-year-old kid who is a profuse masturbator. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious Burgess is gay. Because of the masturbating Truman Show kid? No, because of the simple fact that only guys ever get naked in his films. Ooh, I saw something on that. What he's doing by only showing men naked is making a societal statement on the exploitation of yeah, right. <laughs> like, forget is intelligent enough to comment on society, please. Have you seen his movies? <laughs> I'm thinking about proposing to Anna. I think she's the one. Dude, I, I don't know. I mean, if you get married, you, you'll break this up. This? What is this? This is nothing. We're <laughs> nothing. We're already pathetic. 
Besides, all we do is just sit around and try and make high school last forever. What's your point, dude? You know who's to blame for the evil in society? Who? The civil engineers. I mean, what can be so difficult about synchronizing traffic lights? We stop and go. Stop and go. And all the time, the rage builds. And the pollution accumulates. And carjackers have more chances to get to us. And we waste time sitting in our cars when we'd rather be doing something else. And then we waste even more time taking our cars to the mechanic to have the brakes fixed and the transmissions repaired from all the stopping and starting. And, and then our gas mileage goes down. And we're short on cash from all the repairs. And our necks get whiplash. And our tires go bald. All because of the civil engineers. No, the dumbest thing in movies is in those stupid action flicks where the hero walks casually towards the camera and there's this huge explosion in the background and he never flinches or turns around. <laughs> Enough with that already. <laughs> well, you'll never see anything like that in one of Burgett's movies. Why not? Because Burgett's doesn't have heroes in his movies, <laughs> just regular people doing regular <laughs> things. I mean, heck, you could have those three dorks sitting over there just talking as part of one of his movies. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be real exciting. <laughs> Anna's my best friend. Why shouldn't we get married? No, no. A, a girl can never be a guy's best friend. A, a close friend, a, a, a good friend, a, a, a dear friend even, but never a best friend. Why not? <laughs> okay, um... When you make a fluffy around Anna, do you, do, do you laugh about it? Or, or are you going to ignore it and pretend like it didn't happen? Or, or even worse, are you going to say, excuse me? <laughs> this is so juvenile. Yeah, but it's who we are. And, and if we can't be our absolute true selves around someone, then that someone is not our best friend. Maybe I'm not the juvenile person I thought I was. Okay, well, um, uh, you tell us about the women that you've been with. Do you tell her? No, no, you don't. And do you know why? Because we can never share our true selves with a woman for a fear that she'll reject us. A best friend accepts you for who you are. A best friend accepts you despite who you are. Alright. If best friends are supposed to share everything with each other, why haven't we all had sex together? Hmm. I've shared bodily fluids with Hannah, but not with you guys. As much as it pains me to say this, <sighs> there are more important things than sex. I mean, what if I forgot how to spell, or count, or talk? I had to learn how to do all those things. So I would think that I could forget how to do them. I've forgotten the date on which the Treaty of Versailles was signed. 1478. And I used to know that. And then sometimes I go to write a lowercase cursive B, and I write a P instead. And the other day, at work, I was talking to Riley. Oh, he's so smug. And I used the word effect, but I didn't know if I meant effect with an E or an A. You think that's bad? Last night I was having a dream where I was eating these really warm, soft, chewy chocolate chip cookies, and when I woke up, I had an erection. Am I insane? I heard De Niro wants to be in his next movie. <laughs> yeah, right. Give me a break. You know, I've never understood what all the hoopla was about actors and actresses. Acting is no big deal. Most of us spend our whole lives doing it. <laughs> then if we're best friends, then why haven't you told me you love me? Huh? Anna's told me she loves me. Anna's shown how much she loves me as well. I love you. There. You happy now? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs>